Nice to uh, have you here, and even the next speaker arrive on time. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> OK, so um, just a few words. Uh, just to start, this. I choose this for, from, uh, I was lucky, very lucky to work for two months as invited professor at uh, Nagoya University. And in the last, uh, uh, invited by, on the proposal of uh, Professor Genji Yura, he will be there tomorrow. And uh, I had the occasion to meet many, many, many interesting people, and you will find a few colleagues uh, from Japan, indeed, and indeed from Nagoya University. Uh, and um, uh, at the end of my stay, we were lucky enough to have one week beam time at the Aichi Synchrotron Radiation Facility, which I tell you, I've been touring around most of the Synchrotron Radiation Facility in the world, nearly. This is the very, very best, you know, <laughs> no doubt. And this image comes uh, from uh, uh, the scientific collaborator on the beam line, and I liked it. And this is why it's there, you know. And this image, I don't know if you can guess what it is. It is, uh, I call it, but it, it just disappeared. I call it, in fact, sunset over the Fermi Sea from the land of the rising sun. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, this is the Fermi surface of gold one on one, and this is a shortly state up there. Okay, this is black, okay? And this is special black. This is uh, Pierre Soulage. So this is a very well-known French artist, still alive, probably around 96, 97 years old. Uh, we invited him with uh, Paula, but he could not make it, unfortunately. He has a fantastic museum in a very nice city in Rodez, in the Mass Central. If you can tour there, I really recommend. He is the inventor of the concept of uh, Outre Noir which I would translate by beyond dark, beyond black, beyond black. He's the inventor of that, and he has enormous paints which are black, but which are not so black. You see those striations. Indeed, on the, it's not so good here. But so this black reflects light, OK? And this was a, a, a very nice concept, in fact. So the next one is like this. The next one is this one more than black, blacker than black. And this is uh, very, very interesting. Maybe, you, you, you know, it's blacker than black. And this is very interesting because this connects perfectly art and science. Because this more than black, blacker than black, you, would, you could imagine what it is. It's like a black hole. It absorbs 99.965% of the visible light. It's really like a dark hole. And uh, this, this is this. This is this. And this is a patent that the very well-known uh, artist, British artist, Sir, in fact, Sir Anish Kapoor, he has got the patent. So he has stolen the black, you know, somehow. There was a, a huge debate in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, can, we, can we patent a color or zero color? Because this is the non-color black, you know? So there is a debate, you know. And this, this is very interesting because, you know, artists, they were always striving to make special color. It comes from the Renaissance, maybe. It comes maybe from the, you may know, the green Veronese, you know, from the famous artist Veronese. And then, uh, more recently, the blue of Yves Klein, Yves Klein, a special blue, which is also patented, by the way, because he, he realized this blue with a company, with the Edem uh, paint company, and you can buy it, in fact. And this blue, everybody knows the, the blue of uh, Yves Klein. And now this is the black, okay? And what is this black? No, sorry, I missed it. Back, 
Which one is it? Well, well, is it back? <laughs> okay. Ah. And so this is the black, the blacker than black. This is a forest of vertically aligned carbon nanotubes. It's amazing, you know? They are about one micron in length, all aligned vertically, and they absorb, I have told you, 99.965% of the light, of the visible light. So it's incredibly black, you know? It's really like um, a, dark, a dark hole, with no, a black hole in a sense. Okay, so, you know, as in physics, there is always some debate. Because another artist, by the way, is a Belgium artist. And we should sing one minute of the setbacks in uh, Brussels. It's a Belgium artist. His name is Frédéric de Wilde. And he made also black. And he called it uh, something like ultra, ultra black or something like this. <laughs> okay? It absorbs also a lot of night. Of light, uh, maybe a little less than the, the, the previous one, but still quite a lot. And this was done in collaboration with NASA. So this is a collaboration between an artist and the NASA. And this artist is also a scientist in a sense. Okay, and this he called, uh, but I see it here. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, so I have decided to give my name. Okay, because I thought his name is not the best. So I decided to call it, maybe in connection with the previous one, in relation to a famous uh, um, short story written in 1927, March, by uh, an American uh, horror writer, horror story. This is H.P. Lovecraft, which is a fantastic author and uh, uh, excellent. And uh, he has a very well-known a short story called The Color Out of Space. Very interesting st story. So now, for me, it's the black out of space, okay? Not the color. So then I conclude, because it's going to take a lot of time. Okay, so this is what I mentioned, okay? In contrepoint, the ultra black out of space, I call it. And then, because we have to conclude with something, I just thought of a Confucius. Even though there is a debate with my wife. My wife is saying she's rather, it's rather loud, you know. So I don't know. Maybe our Chinese colleague may decide. It's a famous uh, Chinese proverb. I thought it came from Confucius. But maybe uh, my wife say it comes from Lao Tzu. So I don't know what's the opinion of my colleague. And thank you so much. Thank you.